The red and yellow lights signify the presence of radioactive material. Is it dangerous, life-threatening, or just what you'd get in a standard medical x-ray? Scientists at Imperial College London are precisely measuring neutrons, perfecting a tool to detect radioactive weapons, so-called dirty bombs, that could be smuggled across borders. It provides the information that the frontline officers need fully automatically, which basically means that if there's a real threat, uh, the response will also be much faster. The risk is real. Experts say the threat of a radioactive weapon comes from non-state actors, criminal groups who want to destabilize governments and harm or frighten people on a large scale. Many border forces around the world currently use detectors, but they're crude instruments that generate false positives, needlessly slowing traffic and raising questions about their effectiveness. The end facet should be a game changer. It's smaller, more sensitive, and more mobile than current machines. Put it in the back of a police car, and it will find radioactive material in passing traffic, pinpointing the car or truck carrying the dirty bomb. Although smuggling dirty bombs or radioactive material isn't a common crime, it is a threat. And there's a real fear, a psychological fear, of something we can't see. Harmful radiation seeping into our bodies and the environment. It's not like the movies. You're not necessarily going to have your face melting as such. Uh, and, and so the, the damage might be very, very latent for a long period of time. So the concern is always that the, that the hidden effects of a radiating uh, device might be some time before it's detected. The new detector is a byproduct of pure science, looking at life's tiniest matter and made possible only by machine learning. Artificial intelligence allows the computer to constantly learn what is dangerous radioactive particle and what isn't. After three years of work, the engineers are nearly ready to send their detector out into the real world. Science helping to make it a safer place. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.